today at the IBHS Research Center, we created the first ever indoor full-scale hailstorm. And that means we had about 9,000 hailstones, very realistic in size and shape and density and hardness, very much like what Mother Nature would throw at a building. And we were very interested in how hail damages structures, so the top of structures, the things that are on the sides of structures. The more we know about how hail damage occurs, the better able we will be over time to figure out how to prevent that type of damage. And that will save our insurance company members and their policyholders many millions of dollars and a lot of headaches. Hail is actually a growing problem. We see hailstorms now that are causing losses around a billion dollars. It's a billion with a B, which I think was surprising to a lot of people when we first started to look at hail, just how expensive it's become. We see sometimes in some years when there's bad hailstorms, like 2011, many billions of dollars of losses. What's next? Well, first we want to debrief on this particular test and crawl all over the specimen and see what really happened and see if the damage to the metal roof and the asphalt shingle roof was cosmetic or was it structural. One of the things we'll be looking at long term is the difference between damage that causes something to have to be repaired versus damage that causes something to have to be replaced. And then what's the best practices for doing each of those things? So we're going to try to get a good base of knowledge out of this test, and then this will really kick off a much longer-term program.